How's it going everyone? Welcome to Shifting Lanes. My name is Hanson. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm here at the 2019 New York International Auto Show standing in front of the Hyundai Palisade. Now, if you haven't seen my video of the Kia Telluride just yet, please check out the link up here. Now, this one's different because this is made in South Korea, whereas the Telluride is made in West Point, Georgia. But there's a couple of other different things as well between this and the Telluride. Let's go have a look before you buy. One noticeable difference is the body design, whereas the Hyundai Palisade looks a little bit more luxurious. The Kia Telluride does look a bit more off-road capable. There's more swooping lines and the expressive LEDs here just kind of signify the more luxurious feel of the Hyundai brand compared to the Kia sibling. I also love the interior of the Hyundai Palisade. And in here you'll see a little bit more differences. Um, First, the interior trim ha still has that upscale feel that the Telluride has, but there's a little bit more detail, such as right beside the armrest. And around here in the center console, the cup holders are pretty fancy, again, but these are a little bit plasticky. But nicely, you could fold these out of the way so you could fit larger things in here. Very convenient, again, when you don't need that, you could kind of just hide this entire thing to get a cleaner look and just pushing that, it just slides out of the way. Uh, one other thing too is that the Kia Telluride has six USB ports in the car. Let's find out how many USB ports you could find in the Hyundai Palisade. There's one right there. And of course this comes available with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So this would be the USB port that you'd plug into to get access to those features. And displaying the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto infotainment systems is this 10.25 or 10.3 inch touchscreen display. This looks very similar to the Kia Telluride. And uh, if you haven't seen my review of the UX200, now that is a Lexus, they also have a very widescreen 10.3 inch display. And let me just tell you that it is a beautiful display. And another noticeable thing here is too, is this fully digital instrument cluster. Now this is an option that you could have for the Hyundai Palisade, but this is a, a worthy upgrade because this makes the car look much more luxurious. And I found this in the Volkswagen Tiguan. If you could get this, please splurge because this is going to make your life so much better. Now let's see how easy it is to climb into the third row. Okay, and I am in. And that was with ease. I have plenty of leg room over here. This uh, seat on the back, and I apologize for the lighting because it is dark in here, but uh, I have plenty of leg room here still and plenty of headroom up here. So this is a third row that respects adults. And speaking of the back seat, there's more USB ports back here. I don't know if you can see that, but yes, one here and another there, increasing our total to three so far. And to get out, you can just press this button over here and it'll just move forward. Moving on to the second row, you can see that there's a lot more controls here that you don't find in the Telluride, but here you have some more outlets. You got a 115 volt here and you've got a 12 volt traditional plug over here and you've got rear heated seats and also HVAC controls. Very nice. And increasing the USB count as well, we've got one here on the driver's, uh, passenger side and another one on the driver's side, increasing our USB count total to five. And of course, if you look up, there's a very beautiful moon roof back here. The one feature that you won't find in the Kia Telluride is a powered third seat. So if you look back here, there's a few more buttons and you could, the, the second row is mechanical. Uh, but the third row is powered. So very convenient when you're trying to get more cargo space back here, you could just press the button. It moves a bit slowly, but again, just a nice touch of class. And I believe that if there's an obstruction there, it'll try to retract its way back up. And if this looks familiar, that's because this is also the same engine that you find in the Kia Telluride. This is a 3.8 liter V6. This makes 291 horsepower. Now the Telluride comes available with a towing package that you could get for $800. That means you could tow up to 5,000 pounds. 
Will the Hyundai Palisade offer the same options? Most likely. So you can look forward to having the same capabilities in the Hyundai Palisade when it comes available later this summer. So there you have it. That's the 2020 Hyundai Palisade. I know I drew a lot of comparisons between this and the Kia Telluride, but this is basically the same car after all with just very small differences. Now, there's no pricing announced on this car just yet, but the Kia Telluride is going to be about $32,000 for the base model. So this being the Hyundai version, you could expect it to be a little bit more expensive. But as you can see through this first look, there's a lot better material selection in this Hyundai Palisade. There's a little bit more details and uh, it might just be worth your money. So what do you think? Do you like the Hyundai Palisade? Please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video or enjoyed it, learned something, please consider giving it a thumbs up, hitting that subscribe button, and also hitting that notification bell. Uh, I wanna thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. My name is Hansen. This has been the 2019 New York International Auto Show with the 2020 Hyundai Palisade. I'll see you next time.